Sisters, good morning. Um, we went to three yard sales yesterday. We went to, back to one of them later on in the day to pick some more, but um, pretty good picks yesterday. Um, I want to apologize right off the bat here with the filming on the, uh, as I'm walking through these yard sales, I'm using my phone. I, I think I mentioned that it's in my pocket. I don't have a GoPro yet. I'll get there one day. Um, but I'm having fun doing this, you know, it's a hobby of mine. I've been doing it since 2002, so um, bear with me on the filming there for a little bit. But I'm going to go through really quick uh, everything that we picked on the first yard sale that we stopped at. And um, that would be the sour glass here. That's pretty cool. Um, it's in this encased in this little wood thing here. That's the first thing I picked, first thing I saw. Um, I got that for three dollars. I'm gonna have to do some research on that thing to see what they go for um, And the second pick was this I got this I think it was uh, she said two or three dollars again at the end We wound up paying 70 for the whole lot, but I'll show you everything I got the interesting I thing that I saw on here on the bottom was a stamp that said uh, occupied Japan um, But it's in great condition. There's no chips or anything and I thought that was pretty neat um, the other thing is this little bunny here. I think it was a Vaseline jar at one time. I am not sure, but um, it's pretty neat. It's something that caught my eye really quick, so I picked that. Um, I love fishing, so my wife saw this and she's like, hey, this will go good in your garage. I think I mentioned I collected uh, old fishing gear. Um, I got some old bamboo rods I don't want to part with yet, but maybe I will one day. Maybe I'll throw a couple on there. I don't know yet, but I got a lot of fishing stuff, so I'm going to hang this one up in my garage here. Um, you notice my hat, my Vikings uh, flag. I'm a big Viking fan from California, so go to Minnesota. I hope you guys make the comeback. Um, so a couple more things. Um, my wife also got that. It said it's made in Germany. It's a candy dish of some sort. Um, she paid three dollars for it the price tag's still there again like i said we've got it all in one lot um, and then i'm gonna give me one second i'm gonna show you these next two items uh, let's see here let me grab them really quick okay so the next one is i thought it was pretty cool i got this thomas kincaid um, House. It has, looks like it hasn't been used. It's still in the packaging here. Um, I got six bucks for that. Um, and that's what she wanted at the time. So we got another one here. And here's the other one. I thought that was pretty cool. So that was all on that first pick. Uh, I think there's a couple more items. One second here. Let me uh, find that fishing. Okay, there's, um, I got this tackle box. Um, it was pretty loaded. Um, with all goodies. A couple old vintage uh, lures in there. Um, it's a Plano tackle box. I know the tackle box is like 10, 10 bucks probably if I wanted to sell it, but it came with quite a bit. Some uh, old poppers here. If you like fishing, I don't know if I want to sell this yet. There's a frog. Um, a lot of a lot of jig heads. You know what fishing is all about. A lot of jig heads. Um, so this thing is pretty loaded, and I, I think I got my money's worth on that. She went at 20 for the whole box. I didn't even hesitate. I just took it. But in the end, like I said, I paid uh, 70 bucks for this. Um, I think there's a couple more items from this lot. Hold on. There's the next thing from uh, that lot, which I thought was pretty cool. I said, how much for the box? And, um, you saw in the video, she said, I'm going to charge you uh, 10 bucks for the whole box. So it came with the camper and those are still highly collectible. And that's the little people's camper. Oops, sorry about that. Came with the camper. Pretty good shape. I've seen it clean it up a little bit. Everything is there. Um, I thought that was pretty neat. That was in the box. 
Um, also the seat train. And it's missing a wheel here, but um, still got the complete train, the complete set. And I still think someone would probably put just a whole thing here. Um, if you're interested, let me know. Um, there's that the caboose. And here is the, um, like the cargo part of it. So and that's the circus part. So I got the complete train in that box also. Also got this little carriage. And then I got the dog that was in there. There was no more little people, but I did get the dog in there. So that was pretty cool. Let's get my chair up a little bit here. So also in this box were these um, four little cars. Uh, this was just a regular Hot Wheel. I don't know if it's worth anything. And then I got two Tootsie cars. This bug is in pretty good shape, if you can see it. It's in pretty good shape, and I got this one in there too. Uh, this was interesting. This one's made out of tin. And it's a taxi and it's in good shape and um, I looked that one up and I saw the lowest just for the taxi was like eight bucks so on, on the, in this kind of condition so I think I did pretty good there and um, got this little fish my last pick there which uh, I'm gonna hang that up in my garage he's pretty cool so I don't want to get rid of that got that for a buck this was also in there it's tape measure um, so, got a pretty good haul here, the haul, and uh, I think that's it for that. If I see anything, I'll, I'll post it really quick, but um, I think that's it. Oh, wait, she got a little purse, and I don't know too much about that. I'll let you look at that right now. All right, these are some of my wife's picks. It's a little purse. Got to put my uh, bifocals on. It's made in Spain. It's Guy La Roche. Genuine leather, little coin purse, which she liked very much. Um, so she had some pretty good picks. Um, she almost passed these by. These are copper. And made by, I'm sure you heard of them, Gregorian. Made in the USA, solid copper, it says. Um, I looked these up. I could get a pretty penny. She got the whole set for $3. Um, so um, that was a pretty good pick. The other thing was this. Um, and the artist is, and I looked this one up too. It's pretty, pretty neat. Um, who is this guy again? Oh, Bill Vernon, a Bill Vernon woof. It's the story of the woof. It's got the COA on the bottom. Uh, this one's number 523 of uh, 1003. Um, I've looked that one up too, and they go anywhere from 20 to $40. This one looks in pretty good shape. So we'll see what we get for that. Um, again, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, I've got a PayPal account. I can just ship it to you guys directly. Uh, let me know. And that's about it for that lot. Um, the second picks we're going to show you are from that second yard sale, and that was pretty big, and she was just like kind of giving everything away. Everything was going to um, uh, animal rescue uh, donations, so that was pretty cool. So she bought quite a bit there. So I'm going to show you the next. Okay, pickers, I'm going to go through this really quick because there's a lot of stuff we got from that second yard sale. We went there twice. So the first haul we got for $45, second one, $35. We paid a total of $80 for everything. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Um, but I've got this Michelin um, emergency roadside kit. Looks like it's missing something here, but everything else is complete. It's got the light, the pump. Um, it's got... Um, the uh, jumper cable cables, it's got little roadside things here. Like that got the side on. works great. It's um Chicago Electric. Everything's in there. It's practically brand new. Um, everything's there again. Doesn't look like it's been used. Um, this is a chopper from Cuisinart. Let me grab the next few. This is one of the bins I loaded up. These are little crackers for the holidays. Pull them and they pop. Um, 
binoculars. Uh, name brand is, uh, those of you that want to know, Emerson. A uh, lot of tools. You know, I got a lot of tools here. I don't know what the guy did for a living. Um, but I got this thing. Uh, excuse me, I don't know what they're called. But I got this one, a lot of old tools. Got this hatchet, which I'm probably going to keep because I go camping a lot. Got these tin snips. I know what these are because I work in uh, in the aerospace. So tin snips, um, a lot of pipe wrenches, old pipe wrenches, all made in the U.S. This one's cool. This one's almost brand new. Look at that thing. This is an 18-inch, made in the U.S.A. Uh, need jump rope. Um, this is a, a Lennox a little piggy bank. I saw those on there for like five bucks. Okay, so brand new uh, CD player with the headphones. Never been opened. More pipe wrenches. You know what? I've never seen this thing before, but this is pretty weird looking. So I don't know if you guys know what this is, but um, it detaches right here somehow. And then. I've never seen that, so I don't, like, again, I don't know what these are. Um, I don't know what the guy did for a living. Nice big uh, chisel here. And that one's from Stanley. Uh, the pipe wrench. So, like, I'm in uh, right there, I'm in over $100 in tools right there. Um, this was pretty neat. I looked this up. I don't know what it is, but it's called the uh, Nurling Tool Holder. So, K N U R L I N G. It's made by Craftsman. That's number 2036. Um, maybe you guys know what they are, but I know these go for a pretty penny. I already looked that one up too. So, not bad. We got some of these um, hooks, which I could probably do something with them. Um, but they're in good shape. Um, they're for hanging clothes, and you could probably make, you know, like a display rack or something like that. But I don't know if I'm going to keep them or sell them, but I thought they were pretty cool. Those. Another tool looks like some type of chisel, and it's also got a um, a like a drill tip at the tip of that thing. Um, I don't know who makes that. It was interesting. Uh, this dad piggy bank thing. Um, I got uh, I got two dogs. I got a monster dog. Um, got a 150 pound bully mix so my wife saw that that was pretty cool these are brand new um, and then she saw this one for her dog she's got a uh, a, um, a golden lad is what my wife has so I thought that was pretty cool I'm um, gonna grab the next bin okay there's a lot to go through in this box here pretty quick. clamps we just grab we just grab what I like um, Got a bunch of these um, little die tags. One, two, so there's two, there's three. Uh, that's got a star four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine of those. Um, probably get a couple bucks each. Maybe I'll sell them as a lot. I don't know, um, but quite a bit. We have some bags too. Maybe she'll keep some. Um, found uh, that's a hide a key, a lot of new stuff, little uh, lights, LED lights. Um, my wife uses these all around the house, so I, I'm pretty sure she's going to keep them. And along with a basket, um, I grabbed a lot of the new stuff. Um, this is a Sonic uh, window security thing. Um, that was new. Christmas ornaments are do, doing good right now. I think all you pickers know that. Uh, another can says, Dad, cheers to you, Dad. Another uh, piggy bank can. Uh, I have an air compressor. Um, I think that's for um, maybe spray painting or something. I don't know. You guys tell me. It's got a gauge. I do have an air compressor, 
I might wind up keeping this, but I don't know yet. If I don't use it, I'm not going to use it, so I'll get rid of it. This one's a, uh, here's another pipe wrench. This one's interesting. Check that out. Uh, Ridge, what is it? Rid, Rid Gal. Um, that's a 14 inch. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, like I said, over a hundred dollars in place already. Lighter. This one's pretty neat. I don't know if it works, but I do got a plug right here. So uh, it's a Santa and there's rain gears. Um, I don't know what it does. But let's check it out. This. Okay, like I said, I got this whole lot for a total of 80 bucks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so he lights up and all their noses light up. That's pretty neat. Alrighty then. Uh, hey, uh, my wife liked these little pineapple things. I don't know if they're candle holders or what, what got those two things. Um, or Christmas lights. Um, I grabbed this because um, I like it. But uh, it's got all the uh, drill bits. There's more tools. Huh? I'm pretty sure. I looked, I looked this up. I couldn't find the exact one, but I know they go for a pretty penny. And here's a, I don't want to uncover his head, but here's a snowman cookie jar um, like that. So um, I think that's it on that lot. Um, I'll show you the big items first. Um, probably the coolest items. We got. Oh, shoot. There goes my cookie jar. Probably the coolest items we got from there, though. Yep, is this right here. Right there is the price tag, and they're still showing um, the price on there. And they, she mentioned it was $78, but this price tag said um, $98. And we got this for $10. Bucks. Well, she wanted $10 bucks for it, so um, it's pretty neat. And then, of course, uh, my wife loved this little Christmas tree behind me that has been displayed through this whole video, and it works great. Um, I know you, you know, probably get 20 bucks for that, but she won't let me sell because she loves Christmas, and she won't let me sell that either. Um, but that was it for that uh, haul. I'm going to show you a couple items I got from the last... Um, actually, I'm not going to even show those. So I got from the last one... I got an actual Bob Dylan photo when he was younger, so he probably looked in his early 20s, and it's an actual photo. Um, I'll post that later if you guys want to see that. Um, and then they, I got a picture, and I got a DVD movie, um, the, what's it called? Uh, uh, it's right there. Give me one second. Uh, 24 sealed. 24 seal, that's, I got that on that third, uh, what's called, I got this comic, I got this picture, but I'm going to keep it, it's for my garage, I thought that was pretty cool, so I'm going to keep that one, and like I said, the Bob Dylan photo, I do have one more item that I forgot to, oh shoot, hold on, I'm not done yet. So, this, this is still from the second yard sale, where I got all this stuff from. So, bought a bunch of old vintage clothing. That was a Jennifer Lopez sequin shirt. She's a clothing gal. Karen Scott, I have no idea who these people are. So, uh, Oscar De La Rente, right? I've heard of him. That's a jacket. It looks in pretty good shape, too. I know this one's old. Vintage. -y. I don't even know if he makes clothes anymore. Um, this one, I don't know who it's from. Maybe there's a tag in there. I don't see a tag. But um, Selling all these. Um, my, my wife has tons of clothes already, but she wants to go shopping for more today. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I live right by the outlets here. Oh, this one's cool. It's like a small little tiny dress. It's sequence. Yeah. 
It's made by Tiana B. And I've never heard of it. It is a small little mini dress or something. And this one, I, I like this one a lot actually. So this one's a pretty good pick. That's a nice sequin dress for the holidays. I'm going to be posting that too. Um, these smell a little musky because they've been, look like they've been sitting. That's a Liz Clay Claiborne. Smell a little musky, but um, I'm going to let uh, the buyer, I'm going to mention that, make sure they um, take it to the dry cleaner before they even try it on. So, and it's got a slit here. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, one more. And it's, this one's not on a hanger. But my wife loves those animal patterns. I don't know if you guys like them. Um, that one is a, uh, a uh, I don't even know, Pierre from New York. All right, and that's it. That's my picks for the day. Uh, shoot, and every time I look around, I see more and more and more. That was from the first yard sale. Uh, eh, it's, not, it's not worth too much, but I like old fishing stuff, so I bought that. All right, and that concludes my haul. So we're in it about um, what seven? Yeah, about one hundred fifty bucks into this. So we'll see what we can do. What we, we'll see what we can make. Again, like like this. Uh, subscribe to it. Hit that little bell for notifications. I do this for fun. It doesn't matter how many views I got, how many subscribers I got. Um, Hopefully one day it's uh, I, I get up there, but I'm in no hurry to do it. I'm doing this for fun. Like I said, I've been doing it since 2002, um, and I'm not going to stop doing it. I just recently started making the videos, so if you like them, hit that button. I'm out.